Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is July 27th. We do have a lot of red on the screen this morning. Uh, corn starting off down, down about 10. Beans down 13. Wheat down 5 to 6 cents. It is uh, a lot of panic here today. We have, well, we've got corn and beans now below the 50-day and 100-day moving averages. Uh, these trend lines have been taken out. We've got some very negative attitude, mostly stemming from news out of China. Their market's down over 8% this morning, uh, causing some concern around the globe. Our stock market, stock futures are down about 150 points. Crude's down 60. Our dollar is even working lower, down about 75 cents. So it is this, this sense of selling uh, across the markets. Uh, we had the CFTC report out on Friday actually showing that funds had extended their long position by 77,000 contracts last week. So they're estimated at about 252,000 long in the, in the corn. What concerns me there is what happens when they decide to get out. We're sitting around 390, 395 for corn. If they start taking off some of those positions, do we go back down to that 360, 350 level again? Uh, but the, the, the concern this morning and the, the question that I've been answering from just about everybody is how low are we going? Right now when you look at weather, weather looks really good. You look at the forecast. Well, it's, it helps growth. Uh, we're not looking at just, just ridiculous heat. We're not looking at a lot of rain. We're looking at very ideal conditions. So we're going to be looking at, well, good excellent ratings today uh, probably staying the same, if not maybe even improve for certain areas. So we'll see how that looks as well. Uh, but a lot of negativity surrounding the markets this morning. We'll see how this market reacts, but probably going to start off lower today. Uh, and, and probably remain in the red here by the end of the session. Now, livestock, similar situation there. Cattle on feed report on Friday, bearish. Um, we did see placements increase finally as the market was waiting for. Uh, the cattle report, pretty much neutral. Uh, but I think it may be the reaction to more of the economic front and the economic news that's going on uh, today. So China, our stock market, and maybe just this sense of selling uh, spill into livestock as well for both cattle and hogs. So expect them to start off a little bit lower this morning as well uh, as the sense of selling continues. So uh, give us a call if you have any questions. We're here to help you out. Uh, if you've got questions, any cash markets or just what to do from here, um, we'll be glad to help you out. You can reach us at 800-262-7538 or check us out on the web at allendale-inc.com. Have a great day, guys, and we will talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.